Hello, my name is Rahul Vasandani. Uh, I'm a third generation Indian from Indonesia and I've lived there my entire life. So, what brought me to the Golden Space? What brought me to the Awaken the Divine You program that I've just completed? Uh, funniest thing is that to the outside world, I am considered to be one of the happiest, most easygoing and friendly people on this planet. But on the inside, I have felt honestly the exact opposite. It's, I've felt that way since I was probably 14 or 15 years old. And ever since my childhood, I've been suppressing negative emotion to the point where I lost myself completely and did not really know that the human body and the human mind could experience such crazy emotions as such, simply through suppressing, right? I did not have uh, the best childhood, but I love my parents so much, you know? Uh, the m craziest thing for me is that I suppressed all these negative emotions out of habit up until the way I went to college to the point where I experienced crazy significant periods of depression, which manifested into mental, physical, and emotional uh, manifestations of suicidal thoughts and feelings. And I would hide this habitually with a smile every single day. And it came to the point where I felt numb completely inside and I was paralyzed in my own bed <laughs> for a couple of hours. I had no idea what was going on with me. I got up the next morning, hid it from my flatmate and every single person around me, you know, continued doing that to the point where I could not feel myself. Uh, this is how my journey with the Golden Space began. You know, my sister put me in touch with the space in London and I'm telling you this with all honesty. Within two weeks, simply two weeks, I could feel my life force again. Became a completely changed man, yeah. I've always been known by everyone around me to love eating meat like crazy, you know. We go to this place in uh, Punchak, it's called I'm Goreng Chipanas. We have, I would be the person to order nine pieces of chicken with rice and they look at me like, damn, this guy can eat, man, you know. That's the kind of person I am, right. And guess what happened within two weeks? I became a vegetarian. Crazy, yeah? You know? And to this day, I am still vegan. So I find that incredibly amazing. Everyone around me thinks that I am crazy, but hell yeah, I'm proud, you know? I'm doing something great for the world. Um, I'm super, super grateful and indebted to the Golden Space in London, especially Amrit and Sue, because uh, they've taught me what life really all is about. And it's no coincidence that uh, when, just, about as I, just as I was about to finish college, you know, which is basically, the start of something new, the start of someone's career, right? I just finished my education, yet I was totally revitalized with life from a totally new type of education, which is the school of life. And I learned how meditation is one of the best tools to help you build yourself for the rest of your life. I learned this just as I finished college, and I know I'm going to do great things with it for the rest of my life, and I know every single person watching this is going to be able to do great things with their life as well, you know? And uh, now I'm on my trip to Nepal. I'm here right now, and I feel kind of proud of myself for being able to be as vulnerable as I've been here. I've shared my deepest secret with the group is the fact that I'm a virgin. I've been saving myself for someone, you know, and I've not shared that with other people because I've just been afraid of what people would think like, damn, it's this nigga, an alien or something. Like what the hell's wrong with him, you know? But I've personally been saving myself for the right person, just not voiced it the right way, right? So I realized how self-abusive I was getting by just not expressing it. And self-expression has been I've learned that self-expression is the best tool for me to become how I, who I am and uh, full with authenticity, how I can share my love with the world, but I have to learn to share it with myself, right? So to be as vulnerable as I've been with this entire group uh, has honestly brought me to come to terms with my life and I'm ready to move forward, you know? <laughs> Enjoy the beauty and the perks of life, right? It's been a whirlwind of crazy negative emotion. There's been some time where I've struggled to even get up of my own bed and the next day I've just felt like the chirpiest person around, you know? So it's quite bipolar in that sense. My best experience here in Nepal was when we were at the Buddhist temple on the way down. So a bunch of kids just climbing up some mountain rocks and mud and then myself and another uh, ATDY graduate we decided to just go up and play with them, which was absolutely amazing. It made me remind myself of the freedom that I have just been restricting myself of, looking at how these children with absolutely nothing compared to what I have or what majority of this world has, have the biggest smiles on their faces compared to anybody I've met in my entire life. Now, we look at all the stress we have in this world. Fucking billionaires are depressed, yeah? And look at these children, you know? There's something we can learn from every single person out there and this experience was so humbling. It's the fact that I got to play with them, pick them up, carry them, talk to them, practice my Hindi with them, you know, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> and this is an experience I'm gonna take with me for the rest of my life. How am I going to change my life moving forward? 
practice my meditation. I've learned how these tools can help me master myself by not letting my thoughts control me. And you know, put myself out there, be vulnerable, and enjoy myself. Man, I'm young as hell. I got a, a lot of time. But the point is not to recognize it as having a lot of time, but just to go out and fucking enjoy myself. Thank you.